Hi guys, Steve Mesh Pest Control again. You catch me not out hunting or doing what I normally do. This is um, over the Christmas period. I basically made this, this fox box. Um, I made a fox box Mark 1, um, just prototype. This is the one that's going to be used um, every single day. Um, you can see I literally built the box more or less. I just got a roof to go on. I got a heating system to go in here. So there's a diesel um, diesel heater going in here. Um, I said I'm getting old now, so I need a bit of heating. I don't like putting wearing many layers of clothes. So this is what you this is what the video is about. I'm gonna try and capture some of the stuff I'm doing today. Um, putting the heater in, putting the box in, and stuff like that, and connecting it all up and show you how it works. Um, so if anybody's interested, like I say, give me a message in the comments and I'll tell you roughly how I done it. It's pretty self explanatory It's a 12 volt heater system. It's a 5 kilowatt heater. It's powered by diesel and um, it's got its own tank. Um, it's plug and play basically. You put it in, you cut the hole out for the, for the exhaust and the um, air intake and then you fit the heater. Connect it all up, there's a little control panel, there's a little remote control with it. Connect up the diesel, put a battery to it, and away you go. I'm going to step further, I'm going to put a diesel heater in, and then eventually put a solar panel on top, and I'll put a uh, battery obviously in, so the solar power is constantly just charging the battery up, so every time I go to the Fox box, there'll be plenty of power in the battery to um, power the heater. So that's my plan today, guys. Stick with me. I've never done one of these before. I've done my last video. You'll see me set up a stink pipe. I've, like you see, I've already built the fox box more or less. I'm just going to fit the heater system today. If, it, if it's any interest, you guys, and you, if you've got a fox box or if you've got something to hide or whatever, and you want to put a heater system in there, this is the one for you. Stick with me, and I'll catch you at the end of the video. Right, guys, I'll just show you. What we got in the heater kit, obviously I've used this kit before. Um, I used it in my other Fox box. This is, like I said, this is Fox box number two. Um, so basically, you have a heater, which is five kilowatt. It's a diesel heater. Obviously, you have the exhaust, exhaust port by there, intake port by there for the air. You have a metal pipe for the exhaust, it goes on there. And you've got the heater, it's a silencer, basically fits on the outside. You've got an air, air intake hose as well, so that's where it draws the air in from. You've got a little control panel for setting the temperature, power. I'll show you this, I'll show you working at the end. It comes with tubing, it comes with various different types of tubing, it comes with fittings, it also comes with a remote control, so you can turn the heater on and off, up and down the temperature with the remote control. Um, and there's the bracket as well to fit the the remote control and the control panel on. Like I said, that's just a basic kit. I'll bring you back now, guys. Once I've drilled the hole and once I've fitted the box in place, and I'll show you. I'll show you, try and show you it stage by stage. Yeah. As you can see, guys, I cut the hole out there now, so that the exhaust port, inlet port, and the fuel the fuel pipe will go outside and basically. Um, well, go outside. When I say the fuel, the fuel pipe will go outside. They won't really. It'll probably go out, come back in again, because the tank will be on top of the box. So, um, but the exhaust port and the inlet port will be on the outside, and they will be secured on the outside. You'll see later on in the video. It's important for this stage, guys. Obviously, I put the heater. I fixed the heater in now. Um, I put the in, I put the obviously the. Air intake or the outlet, sorry, that's going to pump the heat out in the fox box. I put a battery there temporary just to, so I know everything's going to fit in the box basically. Because um, I am going to box all this in afterwards. Um, it's important what it's important at this stage to make sure that all your cables are going to reach the, to, to the desired point. That's my, that's my two battery cables, negative and positive. Obviously, the, the um, Positive's got a, fit, a, a wired fuse hole in it. Um, this is the this is the um, for the controller. So I'm going to put my controller roughly up here. So it's going to be up on the shelf. Be if you can see it. I if you can see it now. I'm going to just, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to put the controller up there, 
and I'm going to put a fuel tank just on top of the box so it's going to be easy access to fill it up with, with diesel everything yeah so all that fits in the box lovely so I'm quite happy with that um, next stage is to connect it all up put the exhaust on put the inlet on white tidy all the wires up get all the wires in tidy and I'll bring it back to the next stage as you can see now the heater is now wired up it's wired up all the, all the wire in tidy you can see a plug on the floor that's for the fuel tank I'll like come up and a box all that in there's the controller I'll just show you the controller there's the controller on if you can see it yeah it's all working so what I'm going to do next I'm going to box the heater in put the vent in and then put the fittings on the outside exhaust and inlet, inlet manifold and then um, I'll bring it back again so there you can see guys I fitted the exhaust pipe and the inlet pipe I am going to be moving the inlet pipe around the corner because you meant to keep the inlet away from the heater from the heater exhaust so I'm going to move that eventually when it's on site I'll wrap it around the corner you can see the fuel pipe is on the outside and it goes out and goes back in that goes into the fuel pump and back up to the fuel tank so that's the outside of it guys as you can see now I've boxed the battery in the heater in, the tops to go on next and then the fuel tank will go on top of that and um, so you can see what I've done I basically just boxed it in so the battery's inside the heater's inside and the plug is coming out ready to go on to the fuel tank and a fuel pump so as you can see now guys it's all fitted fuel pumps in heaters in bolted in tidy the fuel tanks on as you can see the fuel tank is all bolted in the fuel filter I haven't done the heat um, the heat outlet yet just waiting for a core bit to get a to cut the hole now you can see the fuel tank is fitted I'm mounted on top of the box I left a little gap on the bottom left a little gap so I can pull and slide the box in and out a little fuel filter on the side there so what I'll do what the next step will be now is to fire it up and see if we got any leaks ok so you can see all the vents are in if it is a vent I just want to run it up now and do a temperature check and make sure it's up the temperature make sure everything's ok and then it's the first time I've done it so obviously you're going to see it as, as same as I'm going to see it so let's hope everything goes to plan right so we got the remote control turn the heater on So as you're looking at the heater there now, it's basically telling you what's happening here. So it's telling you that the fan is coming on on the heater. Um, and you can see as well, you can see the little flashing um, light on the bottom of the heater. That's telling you the exhaust is pumping out the fumes from the exhaust. So we'll just do a temperature check now. We should wait for it to fire up. It's a current temperature. The next stage will you you'll probably hear the fuel pump working next. Is the fuel pump starting go now? As you can see, she's starting to see the heat is ignited now.
the heat is starting to go a bit. I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. It takes a while to get the temperature. And I'll bring you back in a little bit when it's flipped the full temperature. As you can see, the maximum temperature is 87 Celsius, 189 Fahrenheit. That's coming directly out of the heater pipe. So what I'll do now, what I'll do, I'll just move the heater probe now. And just put it into the Fox box. Let's see what the temperature we got. Beauty of this heat is you can turn it down if you listen. So if it does get too hot, too hot in the fox box, you can just lower the temperature, and then obviously you can, you can hear it now going a lot quieter, and it, it will just tick over. So it'll tick over roughly around about I don't know. 20 odd Celsius, that's about 57 Fahrenheit. And that's on a low, very lower setting. So, we got the door shut and it's a very cold night. I'd rather be in a fox box with 20, 20 Celsius than being in a fox box is minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, even. So, as you can hear now, it's very, very quiet. It's ticking over very quietly. So I've knocked the heater off now, it's on this cool end stage, the heater plug kicked in, we're the excess fuel off, the fan's still are going, and what will happen is now it'll just cool down, it'll just take two minutes to cool the right down, and then she'll stop then and go back into a, into a wait state then. Right guys, that's the video then. I'm not sure if it's helpful to anybody, I don't know, but um, I'm not, I'm not, let me just put a couple of points straight yeah. I'm not a carpenter, I'm not an electrician, I'm not an auto electrician. That's all I do. This is the stuff I picked up as, I, as I've done stuff in the other Fox box. So, you know, I don't claim to be a carpenter, I don't claim to be an expert. It's just a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help if anybody wants to knock up a Fox box and put a heater into it. You know, it's the best thing, best, one of the best things I've ever done, to be honest with you. This Fox box is in a going position and basically it'll be there for years so and every time i go up there where there's cold raining but need none job done you know um eventually they like say i put a solar panel on top and a little controller to charge a battery and that'll be the last thing then but um i hope you like this video guys it's not a massively long video and they like say it's just a little guide don't ask me complicated questions how to do stuff. I'm hoping that it'll just give you some sort of idea or give you some ideas what you want to do with your fox box if you make one and do if you want to install a diesel heater in it. And just a little bit of guidance just to show you the way I've done mine, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'll catch you all soon. It's now New Year's Eve. It's it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. So I want to wish you all happy happy new year. I hope you're all safe and well and I'll catch you all in the new year with some more hunting videos and I'll catch you then. Thanks very much guys, I'll catch you all soon.